people that obviously you know are uh, have a tendency towards uh, addic addictive behavior. Uh, they're working at different hours than most people would be. Uh, they're getting off work when you're already probably fucking asleep. Uh, if, you know, not later. I see artwork on a plate. Um, I, 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 uh, I can't even begin to know where the hell he gets these ideas from. Some of the shit that he comes up with is, is crazy, but it looks insanely great. You know, I mean, it, it's... It's as much cuisine as it is truly art, and he's an artist, that's for sure. It was just interesting just to watch because it was, again, you're, you're, you're hearing his point of view and it's just like, wow. And you could see where his, like, it always felt like, for the most part, he, were, he was working with his point of view until someone's point of view interjected in, and that was the greater issue. And then once the creativity was stifled, he left. You know, creative types in general don't, a lot of them don't have the patience to stay in one spot or do the same thing. Um, so it's not really a surprise that a chef would want to be moving around. Fear propels me to fucking do whatever I can to succeed at anything because no one wants to be a fucking failure. But it's, I mean, you can't solely live, or, live on that. I mean, it, solely living on that is what happened in Chicago and that's what happened at the end of Crux. So when you can learn to, to be content with being afraid of something. I think that's when you can actually move forward. But you know, anytime you move to a new place, it's scary. Anytime you talk about new opportunities, new ventures, new relationships, it's scary. 